one or two mistakes and boom they're both just pelted. Oh. Well, right in at him that by two seamer coming up and he oh. couldn't quite turn his front shoulder. Chip Hale is chasing Jake Lamb down the bases. Jake keeps turning around and waving him off. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ken Crenshaw going to come out to have a look as well. Chip was literally running after Jake Lamb going Jake. up the first base line. Jake was not going to stop. Jake is totally fine. Chip was out there. And that hand area. He's sending Chip back to the dugout and Ken Crenshaw as well. Insisting that he's fine. We're talking about getting in your kitchen. That one just knocked him over. Yeah, and a lot of times you know, you're taught to kind of turn your shoulder and take the blow, but couldn't do it that time. I think they're going to look at this. Yeah, the Astros are going to challenge this. The headsets are coming on here. And again, hit by pitch is subject to review. And so the plate umpire, Ron Culpa, and the crew chief, Jerry Meal, with the second base umpire, will put on the headsets. He's up up and throwing now for the Astros, just in case. Well, it sure looked like it hit the knob of the bat on the replays that we've seen. They're showing it on the big board here at Minute Maid Park. And it looks like kind of a Derek Dietrich in Miami situation. Yeah. Remember that one that oh, Dietrich yeah. sold so well? Yeah. It's so hard to tell anywhere around the hands like that. It made a sound that echoed all the way through the ballpark. Does it hit the knob of the bat? I think it does. Uh, well, remember with Dietrich, they looked at it and the play stood. They ruled that it grazed a finger. That yeah. was what New York said. So if it even looks like it grazed one of Jake's fingers, or any part of his hand, the call should stand. Yeah, and it almost looks like his bottom hand is kind of the bottom finger is kind of wrapped on that knob. Even on that replay, Candy, you have to have clear and convincing evidence that it didn't hit any part of the hand. And I don't think no matter how hard or how slow you slow it down, you can tell that definitively. I don't think you can either. It happens so quick. I mean, there's just you know, unless the, the hand is clear, if your guy's choking up, maybe. And it hits the knob. Maybe that's one thing, but most guys, especially with the bat that Lamb uses, yeah, they're going to put him at first base.